doing? Doing good? A simple gesture and greeting. So you guys gonna do this today? Yes. They did it before, right? It's half an hour before boot camp starts, and Elsa Sandel is getting her son ready. Not so much for the games out on this field, but for his future. You know, one of the things that we always worry about with our kids is their interaction out in the community. This is the third session for Fly Fit. Socializing is one part, building relationships with police is the other. You sometimes can't tell what's going on with some of these kids. It could be, you know, hey, is this kid just having a really bad day or is there something going on? Many of the coaches are Elk Grove police officers. You too, on the blue. This boot camp trains them when they're out on duty on how to help someone with a developmental disability and how to identify them. They're able to quickly say, that's not someone that's under the influence, that's, that's someone with a developmental or intellectual disability. Good job. Since it first started, they've brought in more officers in uniform, and they're working to expand to other police departments. We've tried it as a pilot, and now that it's been successful, we want to expand to other departments. We're looking at the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department, the Sacramento Police Department, and we're in the beginning stages right now with the Modesto Police Department. Too. For Sandow, this boot camp in so many ways gives her a peace of mind. Especially when you have a child on the spectrum. Um, you tend to want to protect them, kind of be there, helicopter them, make sure their environment is safe for them. But you also have to allow them the liberty of going out there and experiencing a lot of things. With the hopes that one day more people will be able to understand her child and so many others who may be in need of help. On three, we're going to say life fit. Can you count to three for me? One, two, three. 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 Three.